Hey there, I'm Napta, and welcome to episode 8 of our Pokemon Arceus Nuzlocke. Uh, we are about to go have our showdown with Ray, and with any luck, survive it. Uh, Bilbo's up to level 9, so I've got, you know, reasonably good feeling about this. But first, we're gonna go ahead and swing over here by the pasture, and swap out for, uh, whatever we can from over here. So let's go ahead and check the summary on these ones first. See if any of them are from someplace other than Aspiration Hill. Aspiration Hill. Okay, thought so. But just wanted to double check. Now we get to come over here. And I know these first two are Aspiration Hill because they're the ones we caught um, in the first episode. Or not the first episode, but first episode of this uh, attempt. Alright, Obsidian Fieldlands. So the, our first Obsidian Fieldlands Pokemon is a male Shinx. Level four. That's pretty good. Oops. Okay. So we've got Shinx. And then Horseshoe Plains is our Buizel. Okay. And I think everything is going to be either Obsidian Fields or Horseshoe Plains. Yeah. Okay. So I believe it was this one. Level four male. Yep. There we go, and then this one. I am gonna go ahead and swap these two just because I like having things in order. Technically it would mean shifting everyone down by one. Um, oh, I also want to pick out a Wurmple to give to that guy. I think we're gonna give him this lovely level 3 male Wurmple, because I know one of the name options was Beautifred, and that just makes me laugh, so we're gonna give him a... We're gonna give him a male so that Beautifred makes sense. Alright, there we go. And we need names for these guys. Uh, so we're gonna change name. This Shinx shall be known as Sean. Uh, just like in our first playthrough, actually, we had Sean the Shinx and Betty the Buizel. So it's really, this is like the first playthrough all over again. Just hopefully with less fainting. Everyone's got their namesake, except we have Robin Hoot instead of Merida. So far. Alright, so that's our squad. Let's go ahead and, uh, on our way to helping Ray practice, we will sw stop and uh, complete those two Pokedex entry uh, challenge, or the Pokedex entry and give Buford his uh, Wurmple. Hi there! Oh, you've completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it! Wait, a moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. The markings on their forehead are different sizes? Incredible, I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Okay. Will you show me a Starly? Here, check out this cute little girl. Smooth curl of the feathers on its head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Why, hello there, Starly. Wanna touch it? No! <laughs> I'm quite satisfied just looking at it. After all, besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? At the same time, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in the Pokedex might put them at more ease. All right, adorable Starly complete. Ooh, 10 Pokeballs, nice. Why are you wondering what a Starly would be like? You just met one. Okay, hi there. Hi Beauregard. I do have a Wurmple. This sweet little boy right here. Yes, I am perfectly content giving him to Beauregard. I really do want to see if, if we end up seeing uh, this Wurmple, because he's so convinced it's going to be a Beautifly, I really, really think it's going to end up being a Dustox. Alright. I think Beautifred, because it's a male little Wurmple, 
There you go, bud. He's so happy with his new little friend. All right. Dazzling honey. All right, next thing's next. All right, Bilbo. Gonna do big things for us, right, bud? Here we go. I'm ready, Ray. I hope. I really hope. I'm gonna be straightforward, is, and that is... I don't understand how anyone can take handle taking Pokemon on in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member, and even I don't make a proper You have a Pokemon? <sighs> Alright. That Pikachu is, like, glowing. Come on, Bilbo. You can do this, buddy. I am so concerned. Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? <laughs> that is a really good question. All right. I've got to have a team. To battle your team. All right. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Survey Corpse Ray challenge us to battle. Send out Pikachu. Okay. Pikachu's not glowing anymore, at least. But I'm sure Pikachu is going to be faster than Bilbo. And Thunder Wave right off the bat. Now we're paralyzed. Pikachu's definitely faster. Um, let's go ahead and tackle. Oh, paralyzed, of course. Thunder Shock, ouch. Um, then we'll go ahead and tackle again. Alright, that's good damage, good damage. You don't get the double attack. Come on. Every other turn. Well, so much for having Bilbo on the squad. Um, I have good confidence that we can take. Yeah, okay. Ray. But at least we have. You know, I don't know. I think we're going to end up probably trying to train up Shinx to take on. Because I don't think Electric cares about rock, because Electric is weak to ground. Um, so hopefully we can train up Shinx to take on the Munchlax. Oh, I really wanted Bilbo to survive. This whole double attack thing, I just, I do not like it. It might be better if they, you know, got friendly. I really do hope that we get to, you know, have our Pokemon walk beside us. Because it feels like this this world is, you know, all set up for it. So, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Yep, that'd be me. Alright, Zizu. Got some fight in you. I stopped by and give you what advice I could. I like Zizu sandals. Can we get sandals like Zizu's? Alright. Use it in different styles. Uh, I wonder if we should, if we, I, I, I don't think there was a way that Bilbo was going to survive that unless I'd heal, but then he's just going to get to keep using two attacks. When he can use three attacks to every hour, to our every one move, I mean, that's just doomed, especially when you're paralyzed and every, you know, other move you do doesn't attack. Ugh. This battle is just annoying. I just wanted to keep my team. Oh well. Go away, Ray. I'm still mad at you. I'll help you with May, but you and your Pikachu. Why do you get to attack twice? Every other turn. Like, I just, I don't understand. And I also don't know when they're going to do the double attack thing. I wonder if she tells me more about it. Alright, let's go ahead and first I want to get um, Robin Hoot a new move. I want to give Robin Hood full swipe. Yeah. Hiya. Okay. Um. And then. I got a question. What do you want to know? Um. About. Using moves, I guess? Shh. You just start a battle, you choose a move. Okay, that doesn't. That's not. That's not helpful. <sighs> Alright, let's go put Bilbo in the pasture. 
And I guess we could also stick our nose into the lab real quick and see what the professor's got going on. Whirr. I hope you're having a better day than I am, Wormpole. Um, I think the professor's lab was in through here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look. Uh, we've got little um, Oshwat, and Cyndaquil's got his own little hearth. And, oh, there's a tree. That's probably where Rowlet would be. Ooh, investigate. Nothing here seems relevant to me, okay? That does look like the blackboard, though, so I'm assuming that that blackboard is where things will be. Oh, let me ask the professor, maybe. Hi. Carry on the good fight. Okay, that's, that's not helpful. Let's go ahead and head on out. We'll go drop Bilbo off the pasture. And maybe try to do a little bit more training before we go um, visit May. Especially since we've lost Bilbo, so I think Shinx needs some experience. Or Betty. Um, maybe we should see which one of them is currently closer to... Uh, Currently closer to powering up. I want to make sure that the pasture that's active is that one. I don't know if it matters in this game, but I know like in most of the other games, the box you last interacted with is the box that's considered active. All right, so we've got Sean at level seven, and we'll go see what level Betty's at. If Betty is also level seven, then maybe we should use Betty first because I don't know does water resist rock I know electric doesn't resist it I don't think Boo. hi Volo um, but if water resists it potentially uh, I don't think it does but we'll see this back tech yeah we did the back strike technique we got quite a few of those actually all right Looking forward to the day that I accomplished that, huh? Ooh, okay, that guy's got a quest up here. Hi there. Oh, this is the mushroom guy, right? Yep, okay. Here we go. Yep. Alright, give me the give me the recipe. Alright. Alright, we got the mushroom cake. Request number six. We've only done three, so clearly we've missed two requests. Um Right, let's go ahead and battle the doof with Sean. Thunder shock. That's pretty good damage. And we got the para. Um, let's go ahead and ooh, I should have quick attack to see if I could get off the move twice. I don't see any sort of indicator anywhere on the screen of, you know, who's next or anything like that. Alright, and Betty is level 6, so we are going to stick with training up Sean right now. Alright. Level 3 again. This is fine. Let's go ahead and quick attack right off the get-go. Alright, so this is rollout. Sean took a bit more damage from that than I was hoping, but not... Not terrible. Ooh, I wonder if it's the plus. If I hit plus, will that tell me anything useful? Um. Okay, I don't think so. At least I don't understand that if it is telling me something useful. Alright, there we go. Okay, Badoop's knocked out. That's also getting us some good Pokedex progress. Ooh, I wonder if, uh, if we'd be able to take out a Starly using Sean. I do also want to catch one, though, so we're going to go ahead and catch this one. And then we're going to go ahead and battle this one. If we get one attack off, I think we'll take it out. Oh, no, okay. That's fine. We'll go ahead and grab this. Um, and then we'll go ahead and have Sean deal with this tree. I don't remember what level Munchlax was at. I want to say it was level 10. 
Um, ooh, I need a starly. You can run, but you can't hide. Please just let me get one attack off. Yes, okay. Thundershock. That should be a one-hit KO. Yeah. So that gets us a Pokedex entry for knocking out a Starly. Ooh, I don't think we went over here at all. Um. Oh, okay. Slightly farther out. There we go. Alright, Sean. Level 8 versus level 3. This should be our match to win. We go ahead and quick attack. Good damage, good damage. We could actually potentially catch this one as well, but I do want the experience, I think, more than I want the catch. Go ahead and finish it off, Sean. Alright, cool. I wonder if this is considered a different area over here? Because, like, there were three areas on the other... Or I guess two areas on the other side of the path. So is this a different area, potentially? So, so we could potentially catch a new Pokemon. Um... I think we can't... So we'll be able to see once we catch this Wurmple if the area is considered different or not. Because it should join our team. Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Hi there, Wurmple. Level 5. Obsidian Field lands. Okay, so it's the same. Um, let's go ahead and let Sean break open that. And there's a couple other Pokemon around here. Maybe we can battle another Shinx. Hi there. Oh, it's a little girl Shinx. Level... Eight, or level four, yeah. So that should be fine. We have the, the advantage in level by a good amount. Okay, we did half damage. Just one more should take it out. And this whole looking around thing, like sometimes these Pokemon are so vicious and the other times they're like, oh, oh. can't find a rhyme or reason as of yet. Ooh, I wonder if we can have, ooh, medicinal leak. I'll take that, thank you. Can I send Sean up there to get that? How convenient. Okay, cool. Boink! Got you from behind. Alright, and we'll grab this over here. Oops, that was silly. Oh, that's a Luxray. Uh, we do not want to battle with Luxray. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and let Sean deal with that up there. Alright, Luxray is still not interested in me. Lovely. Things I don't want to battle right now. Oh, what's that? Red glowing eyes. Didn't they say that's a sign of an alpha Pokemon? Yeah, we're going to steer clear. This is a whole, like, another area. Ooh, there's some Wurmples. Uh, let's go see if we can't catch a Wurmple, I guess? I don't know if it's... If this is, like, a new area, potentially. Oh, that was nowhere close to far enough. Okay. Seriously? There. Get the ball. Oh, come on. What's this? It looks like cotton candy. Bogwort. Bugwort. I don't know, part of me feels like maybe I shouldn't be exploring this far afield. Um, when we've got, you know, places to be. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back from whence we came. Before we accidentally trigger something that we can't get ourselves out of. This is a very pretty area. There's some nice beautiful eyes. 
go ahead and grab this lovely purple plant. Um, Pichu! We got the back strike. Please stay. Yeah! New Pokemon. Which I'm very excited about. Um, and then we'll go ahead and have Sean deal with that. Sean is actually probably pretty close to level 10. Um, so I think we're going to see if maybe we can't get him to level 10 as we run back by just a combination of destroying some stuff and maybe a couple of quick battles, different things. Like the Shinx, perhaps? Alright. Level 5. We're level 9. That hurt. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and use a potion. I know that technically it, you know, does 20 extra, but I'd rather it's a it's mid battle. Okay, thunder shock does like nothing. That's fine. Ooh, bite. We have bite now. Let's go ahead and bite. That's some damage. We got bite. Let's go ahead and we'll finish this off with a quick attack. Ooh, I should have tried uh, either the less power or the more power thing. Ooh, yes. Okay. Good damage. And good experience. Okay. There's a Bidoof down there. I guess we can go ahead. Oh, that's a log. Is that a Pokemon? Yeah, it's a log. Okay. I almost challenged a log to a battle. And this Wurmp was not going to have too much fun, but... That's okay. Thundershock. Good damage. Poison Sting, don't love that. Oh, don't poison, Sean. Alright, this should finish it off, and then we'll have to see how do we cure poison um, in this game. Um, Alright, let's see here. We got... Uh, it does have medicinal properties, but it's so bitter that no one will eat it. Um, I don't know if we can- oh. Cure Paralysis? Where's the Petra Berries when we need them? We've got every type of berry except for the type we need. Really? Let's go ahead and make it some more Pokeballs while we're in here. Um, make 35 of those, and we'll make a few more potions as well. Um, let's make like 10. Um, we have literally every type of berry except for the type we need. Oh, I should also heal Sean while I'm thinking about it. Oh, I don't see any indication of being poisoned anymore. Did it go away at the end of the battle? Huh. I guess maybe poison is a temporary condition. I think we should trigger one more battle just to make sure, because I don't want to go into a battle thinking he's not poisoned and then find out that he is. That'd be very bad. We are level 10 now, which is good. Okay, yeah, looks like poisoned is not, um, not a maintained status. It's good. Sting, please don't poison again. Okay, poison sting poisons a lot, but because it doesn't stick around, I'm not super concerned about it. Okay, that's fine. We defeated Wormple. Go ahead and throw Sean up there. Thank you. And I think there's some uh, lovely berries over here, or apricorns, what am I saying? Alright, there we go. And I think there's some more over here. We'll go ahead and collect these. And then I guess we're gonna go battle. I mean, I would like to see level 11, to be honest, because that Munchlax is ouch. Um, get over here. You just came up and shocked my ankle. Pikachu's looking around, Pikachu. Um, let's go ahead and bite it. 
And then we're also... Oh, I guess we won't catch it. <laughs> Whoops. I don't want to catch that, but oh well. Um. Hi! Get in the ball. Alright. I also am noticing that it is getting late already. Um. So I don't know if that's, you know, like a bad sign. Uh, to be starting potentially another battle with our with May at night, like is the next region gonna be more of a problem if we do it late at night? Like the drift looms um, seems fairly aggressive. So I'm wondering if maybe we should go back and rest and save May for um, potentially the next day, but I don't really want to leave her waiting, so. I think we're gonna go ahead and go for it. I was really hoping we could get Sean one more level. Ooh, there's another chase. All right. How much more experience does he need? Unfortunately, this is not gonna be very much since it's only level two, but... Oh, survived a bite. That Shinx must be strong. Let's go ahead and catch this Shinx. Um, because the fact that it survived a bite when most of the other ones have been knocked out that were higher level. Stay in the ball? No! Okay. Um, keep attack. Let's go ahead and heal. But I do think I want this Shinx, because it seems like it's powerful. I guess it doesn't matter since I already have a Shinx on the team, but I don't know if it'll maybe be good for a Pokedex entry or something. I don't know. We're gonna go try it one more time. If it doesn't catch in this ball, then I will uh, finish the battle and knock it out. Okay, fine. You don't want to be part of this? I want to try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time. Um. Because that thing has got power behind it. The fact that it's hitting me this hard, I want this Pokemon. Just in terms of general playthroughness later. I want this thing just to see how strong it is. Go on, get in the ball. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got it now. We caught that shakes. Ooh, we are so close to leveling up. really believe that we can finish this really fast. Like, we'll, we'll knock out this Pokemon. Level 2. We're gonna bite. It's not gonna take forever this time. Yeah, didn't think so. That other Shinx had something going on for it. 7 experience. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and throw you at this tree. How many experience is that? 15. Level up. Perfect. Alright. Level 11. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, uh, before we do that... Fully healed. There we go. Much better. Hi there. Alright. We have strong Pokémon. We are ready. Hi, May. All right, here we go. Over here. I'm ready, Ray. I hope. New face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I do like her outfit. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me May. Even if you're new. Okay, um... Right now we get rather straight to the point. We have a problem that I need solving, so the important question is this. I do. I'm pretty sure saying not at any of these battle things just tells you to get ready. So let's go ahead and do that. I really want to be able to have my Pokemon walk beside me without needing Pokeballs. I really do. Alright. Go, Sean. And we do have quick attack, so I'm hoping that we can maybe quick attack and get to do some double attacking of our own. Let's go ahead and quick attack. Okay, damage. 
That is not cool. I'm gonna go ahead and fully heal. Um, that was such a hard hit. Okay, Sean can't take these hits. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Betty does have more HP than Sean does. Or we switch into Robin Hoot. And if he's using Tackle... I don't know. I think we switch Betty. Betty has more HP. Alright, what level is Betty anyways? Level 7. Betty has more HP if she's level 7. Aqua Jet should be really fast. Does almost no damage. Okay. Every one of our Pokemon, like, he's hitting for half health. Like, I think I'm almost gonna have to wait to see if he misses? I don't want to lose a Pokemon already. I've already lost one. Um... I mean, he's sticking with Tackle right now, so let's go ahead and see what Robin Hood can do. This is a terrible risk, but... Um... Let's go ahead and Leafage. Some damage. Nope, it's just a rollout. But... That didn't do over half. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion on Robin Hoot. Um, he's now also fixated on using rollout, so I'm wondering if maybe I can... That was a crit. No, that was just more damage because this attack that does more damage each turn. Um, we're gonna switch to Betty. I know this is basically sacking Betty but I don't know what else to do other than hope that it misses. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and Aqua Jet gives us the speed priority and then hope we miss. Nope, still hits. Sorry, buddy. I really am, girl. He's still fixated on rollout. I'm gonna switch to Sean and I'm going to heal Sean. Actually, if if he hits, I'm dead, so I might as well. Um, I'm gonna go for the Thundershock. Maybe get the para? Oh, crit. Wait, I'm faster. Quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. Yes! Yes, 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 I got to double attack. This game is very confusing. But, okay, we did lose Betty. I'm sorry, Betty. Your sacrifice is appreciated and noted. You are, really aren't one of the huge galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. I feel so bad for poor Betty. But, oh well. I'll take care of the Pokemon at battle for us. Yeah. And then I need to go deposit Betty. You people make all kinds of things with crafting. They should pr prove to be useful materials. Alright. Yeah, Vivichokes. To revive my Pokemon that you knocked out. Thanks. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories to. I think you're indeed the one for the job. Alright. An alpha. To Deer Track Heights. Oh, and my phone's gonna go buzz buzz. Alright. Is that strange thingy gummy of yours telling you where to go? Yep. Is that one of those Galaxy Team Inventions? No. No, that's just me. Alright. Um, I'll leave this bit. You shouldn't have any trouble handing it. I mean, I have Robin Hoot still, so that should be beneficial at least. Do I already, uh, the almighty what now? Uh, I suppose it would be a special, let me sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time, said to be used the very power, universe, using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisu was born in the process. By the grace of Almighty Sinnoh, that Pokemon can live and thrive here. It does, like, the almighty Sinnoh and then the region gets called Sinnoh later, like, what happened to Hisu? I like Hisu as a name. Alright. Rarely seen by humans, except for yours truly. Alright. The Pokemon that Drace is, dear, is it one of the honored few that is directly descended from the Pokemon that was blessed by Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Alright, follow me and you may understand. So, this is considered a new area, I think. So I'm hoping that we can maybe get an encounter. I guess, technically, our first Pokemon that we see would be this Zubat. So I guess we'll go ahead and catch that. Oh, or not. Um, 
I guess we'll go ahead and send out Sean. Thank you. Um, level 10. Okay. Gust. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and fight it. I don't want to thunder shock and risk knock. I guess it's actually level 10, so it should be able to... Eh, it seems squishy. We're gonna go ahead and throw a Pokeball at the Zubat. Um, it is a female Zubat. Um, so I guess we will name it... I'm assuming it will be our first encounter in this area. So let's go ahead and we're gonna head back up to the very first area where we started. Um, and I think we'll probably sleep in the camp there. And next time we will go check out what we need to do at Deer Track Heights. So thanks you guys so much for joining me. I'm Naapta and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!